Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in this video, we're going to take a look at shape dividers for sections. So let's go ahead and just add one, and then we'll talk about what a shape divider is, how it should be used, and how to manipulate it. So let's add a section, and then once we've added a section in the primary tab of the Properties pane for that section, we can click Add Shape Divider and that's gonna drop a shape divider in. Now let's add some padding to the section since it has no content, just to see the full height of our shape divider. So as you can see, a shape divider is an SVG shape that's used to break up the layout of your site and add some visual interest to the breaks between sections. So as a quick example of how to use a shape divider, we can add another section, say down here to the bottom and set it to the same background color as our shape divider. And you can see there that it now looks like the shape divider's wavy edge is a continuation of the section. Now note that shape dividers can only be added to sections. So you'll have to have a section in order to insert a shape divider. Once a shape divider is inserted, because of the way it's positioned, you cannot click it in the preview to manipulate it. You'll have to open up the structure pane open the section where the shape divider's at, and then select it that way. Once the shape divider is selected, you'll have some controls over here in the primary tab of the properties pane. You'll have divider shape where you can choose from over 30 divider shapes that we've included with oxygen. You'll have custom shape where you can paste in a custom SVG shape, and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. You can change the color of the shape divider as well. You can set it to be along the bottom edge or the top edge of the section. You can also set it to flip horizontally, which is more apparent with different shape dividers. Let's choose something like curvy, and then we'll flip it. And you can see that it's now flipping horizontally. You can also manipulate the height of the shape divider. So for instance, if we wanted something a little more subtle, we could change it to something like 50 pixels. And you can see we have a nice subtle curve there. You can also change the width. It must be at least 100%, but you can change it to something like 200% to get a more subtle curve effect. You can change it to 2000 if you want a very, very slight effect. But for this, we'll leave it at 100%. Now, if you are manipulating the width, let's say, let's pick something here that's a little more uh, symmetrical, like balance, and we'll set the height to 320. And let's say we're changing the width to something like 200% but we still want it to be symmetrical. We can check the center horizontally box, which will keep everything kind of aligned to the middle, even if we're stretching the width out. Finally, we have the Z index control, which allows us to control the stacking order of shape dividers relative to the other elements in the section. So let's go back and revisit the custom shape field. The custom shape field lets you copy in inline SVGs, an inline SVG is basically a bit of HTML that tells the browser what shape to render. So to use this, you can go to somewhere like getwaves.io, which is a SVG shape generator, and we can generate a random one that we like. And then we can click the download button and it gives us an SVG code. So let's copy this code. And then we'll wanna open up any code editor. For me, I like to use VS Code and we'll just open up a new file and paste that in. Now, we'll just toggle word wrap here so we can see what we're doing. And there are two things we need to do. First, within the SVG tag, right here after the view box attribute, we need to add an attribute called preserve aspect ratio, and we'll set that attribute to none. Now, if the path has any fills, we need to change these fill values to be current color. Now that we've done that, we can copy this code and we can jump back over to oxygen and we can paste the code in. And as you can see, we're now using this shape from Git Waves. Of course, we've reversed it, so we're going to put it back down to the bottom and we're not going to flip it and we're going to set it to 100% width. And now you can see it's the exact same shape that was over here, but with our own color, and we're manipulating it with Oxygen's interface. The final thing, and something that sets Oxygen's approach to shape dividers apart, is 
that we allow you to add an unlimited number of shape dividers to any section. Because of the way we've implemented these as their own elements, you can layer them and create some really creative effects. So for instance, let's say we have a section below this and let's set it to the same color as our shape divider. And say we want this transition to be a little more subtle and maybe uh, fade in a little bit more. We could actually change the height of this to something like 50. And then we could duplicate this shape divider. And on the duplicate, let's lower the Z index to 90 so that it's underneath the original shape divider. And then let's set the height to something like 75 and then let's reduce the opacity a bit. So you can see now we're starting to get a faded effect. And we can do this again. Let's go ahead and set the height to 100. And you can see, because of the opacity, we now have this nice layered effect. So just like that, we built a rather complex and very interesting looking shape divider shape directly in the builder just by duplicating the shape divider a couple of times. And you can mix it up even more by changing up the shapes. So for instance, let's change this from our custom shape to one of the built-in shapes, something like uh, Curvy 2. So you can see that that's a little bit different. We can change the height to 200. And then we could change the color to like a pale gray or something like that. And then the Z index, let's lower that down to 10 so that it's underneath everything else. And then we could duplicate that again we can flip it and then we have a really cool kind of layered effect there that normally you would have to have this kind of SVG on hand to use inside of a visual builder, but because of oxygen's power and freedom when it comes to shape dividers, you can pretty much create whatever you want using not only the built-in shapes, but also custom shapes from external sources. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team and that's a look at shape dividers in Oxygen. Thank you for watching.